And on the eighth day, God looked down on his planned paradise and said, I need a campaign. So God made a creative. God said, I need somebody willing to get up before dawn, brainstorm, work all day in cold conference rooms, brainstorm again, work through supper, then go back to work and stay past midnight at an internal meeting where everyone's on their laptop. So God made a creative. God said, I need somebody willing to sit up all night working on a newborn concept and watch it die, then dry their eyes and say, maybe next year. I need somebody who can shape an idea from client feedback, make an ad without a brief, who can lay out a poster with four people looking over their shoulder, and who weekends and holiday season will finish their 40-hour week by Tuesday noon, then pain in from writer's block, put in another 72 hours. So God made a creative. God said, I need somebody strong enough to pitch ideas and take crap, yet gentle enough to tame clients and account managers and tend the wide-eyed interns who will stop their Spotify playlist for an hour to mend the broken spirits of a defeated partner. So God made a creative. It had to be somebody who'd think deep and straight and not cut corners. Somebody to concept, write, proof, revise and pitch and re-revise and sketch and lay out and strengthen the ideas and produce the work. Somebody who'd bring a team together with the soft, strong bonds of drinking. Who would laugh and then sigh and then reply with smiling eyes when their intern says they want to spend their life doing what their creative director does. So God made a creative.